You ever notice every building in downtown Orlando is either owned or sponsored by a bank? You have Fairwinds Credit Agency, BB&T, Chase, Wells Fargo, Regions, First Green Bank. That's almost as crazy as the traffic I'm sitting in. Wait, I forgot one. SunTrust is back there too. Oh wait, wait. PNC is over there too. I seriously have never noticed that, but the traffic has been so bad tonight that it's taken me like two hours to get to Universal Studios. As you get off the highway, you can see the top of that volcano for Wet n Wild 2.0. Well, you're gonna see this out the window, but uh, that's the mountain in the distance. You have these slides that are up. The slides actually hang out like almost over the road at this point. They're green, yellow, blue, kind of like primary color slides. You have the tower here, the new tower for Cabana Bay. But the slides, oh, what color patterns. It does look a lot like Wet n Wild. I feel like we're getting here in the middle of the night, but it's only 20 after six. Oh my goodness. The shrimp is on the loose. Bread box. Your light is out. Well, let me give a formal happy Thursday. Good evening, everybody. I just tripped. You notice that back there. Heading to Universal Studios just to see what's going on over here. Give you a little bit of news. Go check out TNA and maybe get out of here. It's going to be the shortest trip to Universal ever. It's like quiet time. There's no banner for Christmas, nothing for Mardi Gras, nothing for Rock the Universe, Halloween Horror Nights. It's just blank. All right, so our first update. It's gonna be about 30 Rockefeller Center, otherwise known as the Jimmy Fallon ride. Fallon, Fallon, Fallon. More walls have come down, so now you can see straight from the bathroom area, through kind of the rear door, service door, all the way through the store inside. They do have the peacock lit up in here, and they actually have some scaffolding up around, I guess, what may be the checkout area or so in here. And they've put up some pictures inside. So you see Jimmy and some of his characters that he does on his show and other folks from the show they put a lot more shelving in here now for items that they're going to sell there you get an idea there's the cash registers they have the branding on the windows it says tonight's shop instead of tonight's show wink wink more pictures up on the wall more in the back there as well and it's going to sound crazy, but even the inside, like the stairs, kind of remind me of 30 Rock in the city. And we were just there not that long ago. You can check out a video of when we went and did a tour of 30 Rock, at least, and the top of 30 Rock in the link above. Here's Tight Pants Jimmy. All right, then. The workers are drinking Dr. Pepper and Coke. That's breaking news. I'm guessing the ride will exit from the stairs into this gift shop. And outside, they have the marquee up still. Let's see if they've patched up the little holes on the side. Yeah, for the most part, everything looks good. Looks real good now. Just look at stuff uncovered up there. The word is, at least the rumor is, that this would open sometime in March. So this just into the Cheap Seats newsroom. After we were at Universal Studios to record some of the footage of the progress on the Jimmy Fallon ride, it was announced on his show last night that the ride will be opening on April 6th. And it will be opening with some fanfare because Jimmy Fallon will be in town um, doing the Tonight Show between April 3rd and April 6th. So uh, you'll have a chance at uh, being able to get tickets to the Jimmy Fallon Show if you go to the Universal Orlando blog and follow along with them. They'll give you instructions on how you can get tickets. Um, they say forthcoming, so hopefully in sometime in the near future. If you look on the Jimmy Fallon site, tickets are already kind of distributed up through the end of February, but they don't have anything um, related to April yet. Also announced about the Jimmy Fallon ride race through New York. Um, it will employ a virtual queue, meaning that when you go to the ride, you register, you get a specific time to come back, so you don't have to wait in line, which is fantastic. That's what they're planning on doing with Volcano Bay. Um, and that's one of the biggest selling points, I think, to Volcano Bay is that you don't need to wait in line. At least you can get your spot, get your time, return, wait in whatever line at that time um, to get onto the ride. Um, but it gives you time to experience other things in the park instead of standing in a line. So that's all. Now back to the video.
I know that they've had some of these uh, windows illuminated at night at times too, like lit up in different colors. That looks pretty cool. It actually looks like New York City. And here's the facade, at least the way it looks tonight. Only that one NBC is lit up, the other NBC is not, nor is the Comcast up above. And in case you didn't see in the news today, right on the stage that's behind me, Music Plaza, they announced um, the Mardi Gras lineup, concert lineup. We very much look forward to all of the concerts every year because they're included in your ticket price for that day. So there is no extra charge for the concerts here. They have the parade and the concerts, always an awesome time. So if it looks like I'm reading, I am a little bit. They have Neo coming, Trace Atkins, uh, Fifth Harmony, Toby Keith. Collector Soul, Movie 40, Jason Derulo, All American Rejects. We have a full list of all of the bands that will be here at Mardi Gras up on our website. So you can check that out as well. Link right here. And of course, coming up in just a couple of weeks, Celebration Harry Potter right on the stage there as well. So we ran through Disney the other day. We saw that the Christmas tree was still up because of the folks running the marathon. They left the decorations up for a couple extra days. Over here, the decorations are down. Christmas is over. It looks very empty here now. And for those wondering about the celebration of Harry Potter and you haven't been there before, this is the kind of like cutout of the New York Public Library. To the left back there is a little sound stage. That's where the expo hall normally is. If you did not buy the vacation package, you'll queue out here for quite a while to get into that hall unless you get here bright and early. Um, and they have some exhibits that normally take you probably about an hour to an hour and a half or so to get through. That is providing that there's no giant lines inside, but the line outside can stretch for like a couple of hours or more. It's like Halloween Horror Nights type lines, so be prepared. Oh dear, now there's walls up around the candy store next to the Blue Brother stage. No idea what could be going on over here. We have some Blues Brothers type signs up here though. One of the greatest movies of all time. Funny that they advertise the circus here and here. But nobody gives them any flack. I mean, especially for the sense that they're using an elephant in the picture that they're hanging on. Universal's fireworks spectacular is gonna start in seven minutes. Megatron. You primitive iPhones are so easily entertained. No one's visiting Megatron. You are harmless. Say something. Or not. The party's over, humans. <laughs> They're shutting the lights off as we're walking. Ooh, Halloween Horror Nights. Poor Krampus entrance. I miss you. Let's go see some TNA.
TNA tapings, done. I'm gonna leave here and try to hit somewhere else. By the way, I know I say this every time I go to a TNA taping, their product is so much better than the WWE these days. Okay, I'm driving super, super slow in a parking lot because security is all over the place looking at me and following us, or following me. Um, but I wanted to tell everybody that news broke today that Artagon Mall will be closing in two weeks. So you know we've been to Artagon a bunch of times, Gods and Monsters comic stories located in Artagon. I know a lot of folks that watch the channel went there because they've watched us before and we've been to the store. They will be closing in two weeks as well. The only stores that will remain in Artagon for the time being are Bass Pro Shop and the movie theater. So you can see security back there tailing me. And there's Bass Pro Shop. So the big thing to know is that all of the vendors that are in there, the artistic vendors, everything that they've built up, and I think that they've really came a long way since the beginning of them opening, because I know we were kind of sour on them initially when they first opened. They've come a long way in building um, the mall up into what it is, but um, it was rumored for a while that the property was for sale, or known for a while the property was for sale. And then today, at least, um, in the morning, they held a meeting with all of the vendors um, that were here to let them know that they would be closing up shop in two weeks. I suspect that Bass Pro Shops and uh, the movie theater just aren't closing yet because they have uh, longer standing leases. They were here prior to um, Artagon being in place when it was Festival Bay. Um, and, but what's weird is that Ron John had been here that you know that long as well, so kind of odd that, that they're um, leaving. But Gods and Monsters, um, we love that store. We love Todd and the crew. Um, good friends with all of those folks there. Um, the latest news that was posted on Gods and Monsters Facebook page is that they will be relocating. They were approached today by a host of different sites to relocate to. Um, and they anticipate that they're going to be able to relocate um, as quickly as possible. So, um, although they'll be down for a while, they will be back. Since we're on I drive, we're going to get some Del Taco. Meh, could be better. The sky is so bright tonight. Crazy. Avatars on TV! Hiding all the way in the back on my display shelf is this TNA belt that has fallen down. It's kind of lost among all of the other WWE goodness, including our Slammy Award that we won for being the best vlog. <laughs> Straight from the WWE. Be like Owen Hart. I hopefully he'll be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year, but we've got Owen Slammy here. So a cheap seat nation Slammy. And fake replica belt. That TNA belt, I have to fix the display. But the reason why that belt is a little bit rare is that the belt is not made anymore, first of all, because it's from uh, like 2009, 2008. But it's signed by Hogan, Bischoff, and Dixie Carter, which three people that are essentially not part of the company anymore. Dixie, very small part. But Hogan and Bischoff, when they came in, it kind of ruined everything. They signed the belt. And so while I was out, Mary was at home cleaning up a little bit, mm. having her own time. I will say this, anyone that is in the Universal area and going to Del Taco after 9 o'clock at night, um, it's like taking your life in your hands. It was not a very good experience. No. So, um, and uh, if you follow us on social media, I was tweeting out that hopefully, like, Jack in the Box would make it here at some point. <laughs> I saw that. But, um, Del Taco, no. Mm -hmm. One last thing before we say goodnight. Um, I did tweet out a picture to Mike Bennett tonight. I know Mike, um, I believe he's checked out a couple of our videos in the past. Um, this is the picture. These are these amazing shoes that Mike was oh, wearing. Oh, that shiny thing? Yeah. <laughs> so he liked the picture but didn't let me know where the shoes were from. Mm. Um, so if Mike is watching, please let us know where those shoes are from. Or um, if anybody knows where they're from, oh, too shiny. look at Eddie. Those shoes were amazing. I need to get a pair. They're basically like mirror type converse. They're shiny. They were amazing. <laughs> By the way, if you don't know who Mike Bennett is and you're watching WWE all the time and not watching any other type of wrestling, you are really missing out. So <laughs> I would I would quickly YouTube his matches and check him out. He he deserves much bigger and better than what he has right now. Mm. So anyway, on that note, I'm gonna sign off for now. So thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. 
Mary's waiting if you're going to put her on the spot. No. <laughs> Treat <laughs> others the way you want to be treated. I'm petting the cat. Eddie's back. <laughs> Have a great night. We'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.